What's going on everyone? PK here. Welcome back. So today we are at Olala Reservoir uh, here in Toledo near Newport and we're going to try to catch some stock, tr stock trout today. And um, I got some trout lures I want to try out. And I just realized when I was packing my truck, I forgot my life jacket, which is a big, big, big bummer. Man, I really need to start making a list of what to bring. But you know what? There is some uh, um, life jacket here you can use. And I believe the rule is you need a life jacket. You don't have to wear one, but you just got to have one. Um, so I think, I think these are for kids though, but it looks like this is a big one for adult right here. Oh man. Well, it is what it is, right? So you bring a kayak, make sure you bring a life jacket. But anyways, um, we're going to set up the kayak and uh, get on the water and hopefully we uh, catch our limit today, which is five trout. And there it is, life jacket. And uh, I think they just recently stocked it. So hopefully we do good, okay? So let's not waste time, let's get out there. Okay guys, they are not biting. What's going on? I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to switch. I'm not marking any fish at all. No fish. Not a good sign. So I'm gonna switch. So let's take this Rapala out of there. It's not a good sign. Wait, what the heck? <clears throat> Feels like I got something on. Oh my goodness. Woo! Look at this tiny bugger. Wow, guys. My first fish of the day turns out to be a guppy. Really tiny trout. <clears throat> Okay, buddy. Yeah, I'll let you go. First fish. Look how small he is. Ooh. All right, buddy, hold on. Boom, there he goes. On that tiny lure, I think he was no bigger than this lure. But, all right, I see two boats. Two boats launching. Man. Well, it's not good. We need a bigger one. <laughs> that was two, three inches, maybe four inches. <laughs> and I'm not marking any fish at all today, guys. Okay, there's something down there. 65 foot, it's like some trees and brushes. So far, it's pretty quiet. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to back about 50 feet on both of them. Okay, there we go. We can sit back and relax. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch. It is 9.44, so about 20 minutes, if nothing, I'm gonna switch out the uh, lure. I switched to a Brad's, Brad's cup plug. I did really well last time on a Brad's, so just wanna try something different today. I got this new tiny micro lure. It's a tiny uh, crankbait, is it? Yeah, it's really small. <laughs> so far, they, they just caught that one tiny trout, that's it, but yeah, there is like nothing. Well, let's check how much battery I got left. I got this new um, battery checker app. It lets me kind of monitor my level of my battery. Um, right now, I have 89%. Okay, I got 89%. We're sitting at about 13.17 volts. 13 volts still, 89%. So it's got a, it's a nice little app. 
monitors your battery for you and uh, tells you how much you have left, which is really nice if you're on like a really long trip. So yeah. Oh, another one. Holy smokes, are you kidding me? That was about the same size as the last time, guys. Really small one. There's one, guys. Finally, there's one. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little fish again. I just want one trout. One for lunch would be nice, huh? Not much to ask. Oh, man. These guys, this is like Detroit Lake all over again. Yeah, I came off. So, uh, it's ODFW like releasing like these four inch trout going on well we know that tiny lure works just uh, these fish have not been of any size at all well let's keep going oh there's a hit yeah I think I got another one man these little tiny smolts well the bad thing is I'm not marking any fish at all guys zero I think when they stocked it last time um, okay let's check this one because uh, there's a hit on here and I'm bet I'm betting it's those uh, tiny ones. Oh man, this my clean my screen is all clear. There's like nothing. Did I get it? No. Okay. So nothing there. And I'm scenting it with krill, procure. Okay. There we go. Ooh, there's a nice one. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Hope he's a better one. Hope he's a better one. Hopefully I can keep this one. Are you on? No? Oh, it came off. Shoot. Dang it. All right. No biggie. No biggie. We'll put you da back down there. That was, uh, that was a good hit. That's probably th the best hit of the day. Okay, I'm going 60... 64, 63 foot back on this one. There we go. Let's see you hit that one again, buddy. Missed that one. All right, now for this one. This one has a brass cut plug. Just trying everything today, man. What a gorgeous day here at Olala. Olala Reservoir. We're sitting at 45 feet. Okay, 55 back on this one. All right, come on fish, I'm ready now. I can really use a nice big trout. 1.7, let's go lower. Okay, let's go. I was at a three and a half speed, which is gonna give me 1.6, 1.5 to 1.6 miles per hour. So that's not, that's about right. Despite the slow fishing, it is gorgeous out here, guys. Sky is blue. It is mid-morning. It's about, what is it, 1021. I got on here late. I'm going to give about another hour and a half. If nothing, I'll jet home. But beautiful, beautiful day. Sun is out. No wind at all. It's just super calm. It's like glass out here. Oh, now that was a jump. Wow. That was a jump. Let's go. Let's go there. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm seeing like a lot of surface rings right here. I saw, I saw one jump. Not very big one though. It doesn't mean I'm going to catch them, but I'm going to troll over that area where he jumped anyways. Another dink again. Oh, there's a fish. Okay, there we go. I think this one's a small one, the one on my left. Uh, probably one on my right too. So, so far three tiny trout and uh, four tiny trout. Holy moly. Look how small that is guys. Look how small he is. Look at that. Well, that's all I can catch today, man. We'll release you. Holy moly. Is this what? Boom. The lure works. Just 
not of any size. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're catching today. Micro trout fishing. Is there such a thing? Oh boy. I wonder if these are planted. Are they planted? I don't know. I wonder why they would plant such small trout. They make good bass bait, I guess. Yeah, today's episode is going to be micro, how to catch micro trout. Okay, so this is the front view, obviously. I have my rod holder. I'm using Yak Attack rod holders. They work really nice. And for my rod and reel, the uh, Kuma Sililo uh, trolling rod. Um, I think this is a six foot six. Um, let me look at the spec just to be sure. Uh, let's see. They are no, it's a seven foot. This is a seven foot. Okay, um, works really nice. The rod is really, really flimsy. Uh, really good for trout fishing, kokanee. Um, Exact same setup as here, a 7 foot Akuma as well, um, Daiwa AccuDep, and these reels work really, really awesome for uh, trolling, okay, I highly recommend them, they're really, really nice. Um, they have the line counter, and the thing uh, with this model, um, when, it, when it's raining or it's foggy, you know, kind of the damp day, it will fog up a little bit, so not a big fan of that. But overall, I really like it. Uh, depth finder right here, and um, mounted on a Yak Attack mount. <clears throat> uh, just a lot of room up here, a lot of room up in the deck. Um, up there, we got the motor, um, the Minkota autopilot, and then we have my homemade PVC pipe holding my GoPro right there. And back here. Net goes into the rod holder down there. Just not a whole lot of uh, things I got back here. Another rod holder for my spare rod. So um, the spare rod is the exact same one. It's the Akuma. Uh, different reel. This one is a Daiwa Lexa in size 300 HL. I really like these. These are pretty awesome. So that is my spare reel. Okay, backpack back there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, love this kayak. Oh, there's a there's a fish. Hold on. Oh, there, that was a fish. Dang it. I think I, I wonder if I lost that. I don't know how long he was been gone. I I don't know how long he's been on there. Dang. I feel like that was a bigger fish. So, oh, it's still on there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, there's a stalker, guys. Oh, there's, I got a double. Oh, that one came off. Dang it. That one came off. I didn't put a uh, tight enough chute. That was a good one. He, will, he would have been a keeper. What is this one? Another guppy? Oh, he's a bigger one, guys. He's a bigger one. Yes. Yes. Finally, oh, I'm gonna net this one. I'm gonna net this one. Come on, buddy. Bad netting job. There we go, finally. Okay, that one I can keep. There we go. All right, so before I bring in this fish, let me set this one back. So I'm gonna swing back there. Uh, usually when I get a bite in an area, I'm gonna swing back in that same area. I, I would have had two keepers. Oh, good. It came off by itself. Awesome. So that was a keeper. Uh, not. He's about maybe 11 inches. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> I'm going to have to whack you, buddy. All right. There we go, guys. First trout of the day. It's about 11, 11 and a half. Pretty clean trout. That means he's been recently stocked. Cool. Oh, I got blood on the kayak. Oh, no. That's what you want, though. So if you guys come to this lake, um, it, it's electric motor only. You cannot use gas-powered motors. Right there. 
tiny, tiny crankbait. That's what I'm catching these trout on. Um, again, the trout aren't any of size, but I think I had a big one on here when I came off. So they will hit it. It's just uh, I should have came here when they just stocked it. But anyways, that's the tiny crankbait. Just not a whole lot going on today. Every so often, but it's very far and few in between. Most of my hits come right here around this, around this bend. Would have had two if I could have landed the other one. It's all right though, that's how it is. I wouldn't mind getting one more, it would be nice. There's a, now this lake is really good for a yellow perch during the summer. There is a lot of yellow perch in this lake. They're not very big. They're about maybe nine, 10 inches. So we're gonna troll back and uh, pick up and go. Hopefully we get one on the way back. That would be nice. Like a really big one. <clears throat> Let's see how much battery I got left. I'm curious. Let's see how much battery I got left. 88%. Wow. I did not run out any battery at all. 88%. 13.18 volt left. That's incredible. I'm telling you, like these, uh, these lithium batteries, man, they work awesome. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you really quick before you go um, how I cook my trout. Um, here's the one I caught today and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, lemon and then some ginger and also I'm going to add uh, green onions or scallions. And then for the seasoning, I'm going to use Maggie seasoning. Um, my favorite seasoning of all time. Really good stuff. Uh, it's a little spendy, but I think it's worth it because it's just super delicious. And what we're going to do for the, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the ginger, we're going to zest it. Um, so that way it gives out more flavor. So we're just going to zest the ginger, okay, just like that. Okay, so it's going to be uh, near a pulp like that, okay. And then we're just gonna put it all over the trout. And then we have a little bit of ginger left, so we're gonna keep on zesting it. And just get it all in there. Now you don't have to zest it. You can just like cut it into small sections too. It's really up to you, but I'm gonna zest it. And I've also put some in the belly cavity along with some scallions. And I have the ginger on top of here and I'm just going to put the rest of the scallion right on top. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to squeeze some lemon juice on there. All right, some lemon juice. There we go, just like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add the Maggie seasoning and you can add as much as you want like that. Okay. And then we are going to cover this. So there's our trout, our uh, onions, green onions, and then we have Maggie seasoning, ginger, and lemon. And basically, uh, we're going to cook it in the oven. We're going to steam it. And before we do that, we're going to make sure we seal it tight so it's airtight so that way it can steam in the soy sauce. All right, so that's it right there. I wrapped it pretty tight and you want to make sure it's airtight so that way it can steam in that juice. And then, um, yeah, so let's turn on the oven at 350 and we're going to go for about 30 minutes. All right, and now after about 30 minutes, it is done. Um, let's open up the trout. Now be careful when you open this up because that steam is pretty hot. So that's what it looks like right there. You can kind of experiment if the soy sauce is too much or too little, you know, experiment that on your own. But the, the reason we put the ginger in there is the ginger kind of takes away the, uh, the smell of the fish. Yeah, that's about it, guys. It's really quick, really easy, simple recipe, you know, warm up your oven 350 and then just plop it in there and then, uh, then it's done. Okay, so we'll end it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Tight lines.